morning. Today I am in New Zealand. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jane. So today is our friend's wedding day, which is very exciting. So I'm going to try and do a bit of a um, get ready with me wedding guest makeup. Um, so that should be really exciting. Um, but first we're going to go for coffee with James's mum and dad. So I thought I would take you along. So yeah, let's get going. <laughs> off with the Vapor Organic Beauty Strata Soft Focus Skin Perfector and I've just basically put that on as a bit of a primer and then moved on to the Jane Iredale Glow Time which is the full coverage BB Mineral Cream and this is BB7 that I'm using and then I've moved on to un conceal under my eyes and this is the Hint Beauty Concealer which is absolutely incredible. It has such full coverage and I've only used a really really tiny amount and um, it just covers the dark circles under my eyes and it's absolutely amazing. I'm then also popping some in between my eyebrows just to highlight that area and I'll pop some down my nose, underneath my nose, on the little arch of my lips and then on my chin too. This is the new Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo and oh my goodness, it is absolutely amazing. I really, really love the colour that um, it gives for contouring, as you can see, on my face now. And it just gives a really, really natural contour colour, mainly like you've just kind of, I don't know, just come off the beach or you've got a bit of a tan. It looks amazing. So um, I was really, really pleased to get this at Christmas, so thanks mum. I'm then using the same Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo by Lily Lolo, just, um, I'm just using the highlight section, which will be going on the tops of my cheekbones, and it just gives a really, really gorgeous glow. I'm absolutely in love with it, it's such a good palette, so I would definitely recommend anybody to get that if you want a really nice, natural contour kit. Then I'm moving on to, again, the Lily Lolo Coralista Cheek Duo. It's really beautiful again. It just gives a really great little kind of pop of color on your cheeks. And it also has um, a highlight section as well, which is actually really similar to the contour palette. So I'm using the RMS Swift Eyeshadow in the color Sunset Beach, just to um, give my eyes a base color so I can work off something. And then I'm moving on to the Garden Rose Swift Shadow in um, GR12 by RMS as well. And this gives a really, really nice kind of, um, like a bit of a pinky color, which I really, really love. And then I'm moving on to give a bit of definition and depth to my eyes with the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Cocoa Powder. And then this is um, building on top of that again and going in the middle um, is the Modern Minerals eyeshadow. Now I can't find the colour because it's rubbed off but I will let you know. But um, it's just a really really nice kind of pinky look that I'm using. Oh no, here's the Bella Pierre um, Cosmetics in Cocoa again. Um, just to add a little bit more de definition and depth back in again. Um, but it's just such a cute colour and all of them mixed together just looks amazing. And then I'm using the Living Nature 
black eyeliner here because I was running out of time and I couldn't find my gel eyeliner but it actually worked really really well and lasted all day so I'm super pleased about that and I'm just putting some on the top and then um, putting some into my waterline as well and then smudging it all out and then using the Lily Lolo um, smoke and mirrors eye palette and um, I'm going over the eyeliner with like a really dark grey black eyeshadow and that's just to kind of help soften the look and like I don't know make it a little bit more dramatic but a softer dramatic rather than like any harsh lines anywhere because it's a wedding you know and you want to kind of look natural nice so yeah so once I've done that I'm then going to pop on some mascara and that is the RMS um, defining mascara which is absolutely amazing and I really really love it and then I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and the little pot that you can see there is the Eco Brow um, Brow Defining Wax in Penelope um, and you'll have seen this in all of my videos because I'm obsessed with it and I'm really excited because I've just ordered the lighter shade in it which I think is called Sharon and it's like for dark blondes because sometimes I feel like this is a little bit too dark for me so I can't wait for that to arrive so yeah and then basically I just brushed this out once I've put it in so it looks quite natural as you can see here and then finally I'm going on to my lips and this is um, Carnation Mist which is 06 in the Karen Murrell uh, range which I really love. It's a super cute pink um, lipstick and it actually lasted a really really long time throughout the day. And now I'm just moving on to loosening up some of the curls in my hair because I'd already curled my hair and I was just letting them kind of set a little bit more. And that's kind of the finished look, really. do any decent kind of finished look shots so I hope you managed to see some of them but I'm um, 